Hello everyone, welcome to my guide to the storage drawers mod. This mod basically just allows you to uh, make better storage systems. You can use it if you want to like, store, drop some farms, just have a small storage system for yourself. Whatever you want, it basically works. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so first we have the basic drawers. So if we just go over here, then we put down, uh, and let's say we have a block. We can right click to put it in there and left click to take it out. If we have a few more blocks, uh, we right click, put it in there, and if we left click, we take it out, and if we shift and left click, we'll take out a whole stack. And if we double right click, we put it all in there. We can shift right click and look inside if we want. And yeah, it can only hold like one item. So if we uh, put all of those in there and if we get another block, can't put it in there obviously. And then we have the two drawers and the three drawers, or four drawers I mean, and we can go like that and put uh, a different item in each different drawer. So there, there, yeah. That's, and then four for this one. And uh, we can craft these just like this and that with two chests for the double. And we craft this one with four chests and that. So then if we shift right click, we can see we can get some upgrades. So let's go get one of those upgrades. Okay, so first we have the upgrade template, which we just use to craft other upgrades. We just need a, any type of uh, storage drawer and sticks to make four. Okay, so then if we, there's the basic just like storage upgrades, there's five different levels. And then if we go like this, we can craft here. Okay, so if we just go out here, then we can uh, use the regular storage upgrade. And if we look up in the top of the screen around here we can see uh it has stack limit of 32 uh 16 and 8 so that basically means we can fit 32 stacks in each drawer but this one only has one so 16 stacks in this one and this one and then uh eight in each of those four so then if we go like this and we put this in it multiplies by two and now we can fit 64 and then if we take that out we can multiply it by four and 128 and then yeah we can just put them all in there we can craft number one with obsidian sticks and upgrade template number two with iron number three with gold number four with diamonds and number five with emeralds and then we can hold uh, 1984 items uh and we can also just like go like this that and put all of them in there like that and now we can hold uh, 7,000 some so yeah it can get quite uh, cracked like if you want to store all of the drops from a farm it'll like never fill up because that's stacks that's not just items like multiply that by 64 and that's how many items you can store but yeah so then you could like fill up a whole thing of those and it would like take ages Okay, so next we have the storage downgrade, which we can craft just like this with flint and storage upgrade and sticks. So then if we, uh, let's just take ourselves one of these. If we go over here, now it can only hold one stack. So if we go like that, and then it's completely full now. And then if we try and put one in, we can't. Okay, next we have the void upgrade, which uh, we can craft just like this with obsidian and upgrade template. And we'll go over here with our storage downgrade that is completely full. Now if we look up here, we can tell we have the void upgrade on because it has that little symbol. But now if we try and put this block in, it just voids it. It didn't change anything, it just goes into the void. Okay, so next we have these redstone kind of upgrades. And if we just grab redstone out of this drawer I have. Okay, so the way that these redstone upgrades work is if we go in here, we put a redstone upgrade, which we can craft just like this with redstone corners and sticks and upgrade template. Then, and we also have the downgrades, so it's max as a stack. Then what we can do is if we take uh, any, like it takes how full it is. So it has one item, so it gives power of one. So then if we go like this, then now it's at half, so it gives off seven, similar to a comparator, and now it's full, so it gives off 15. 
And then we have the max redstone upgrade, which you can craft just like this, and the minimum redstone upgrade, which you can craft just like that, with just the opposite, basically. With the max redstone upgrade, uh, it basically just shows you whichever drawer has the most amount of items, uh, that's the signal it gives off. So that one has the most now because it has one and that has zero. And then it gives off the power of one and now seven. But if we, like, let's say, put in half a stack here, it'd be the same. But if we put that in there, it's 15 because that one has the most, of course. So then if we uh, go like this and we make it a minimum redstone upgrade, then it just gives off the one with the minimum, or obviously. So it gives off zero because that one has zero in it, but that one, it doesn't matter how much it has. So then if we go like this there it gives off the power of the one with the least but yeah that's basically how they work kind of similar to a comparator okay so next we have these two like creative mode kind of items i mean might as well show them although you obviously can't craft them if we go like this this then we can take that and then this and now if we put items in there it is infinitely full and we can infinitely take items out of it but yeah, that's basically what they do. So if you want to use it for some sort of creative thing, I don't know what you would need it for since you can't like make the blocks indestructible, I think. Okay, so next we have the keys, the different types of keys. Uh, the first one we have is the drawer key, which we can craft like this with two gold and one uh, golden nugget and uh, upgrade template. And basically it locks drawers. Like it doesn't keep anyone out, but if we go like this, we put some items in there, we put some items in there, and we take out all the items, it still keeps the item that was in there, there, so that nothing else will go in that slot. But it, uh, like, it, it doesn't have any items in there, it just makes sure nothing else goes in. And then we can unlock it and it'll disappear. Next we have the uh, quantify key, which we craft like this with a regular key and then a book and quill. And then it just shows and hides like then now we click on it. Now we can see there's 64 in there and one in there. And next we have this concealment key. We can't actually craft it, but uh, what it does basically is it hides the labels. And then it gives you this little symbol there that you can't see what's in there. Yeah. And all the items are still in there, as you can see there. But yeah, that's basically what it does. So next we have probably some of the coolest features of this mod, which is the uh, compacting drawer. So if we just take an item like a diamond, and then like that, and this thing, oh yeah, we can craft this just like that with a drawer, stone, pistons, and iron. And then if we put a diamond in this spot here, now there's a diamond block there and a compressed diamond block from the compressed blocks mod. But yeah, so this is one drawer and it has 64 diamonds, but it'll automatically craft it into seven or well, however many you can make of the higher up level of it. So if I go like this, it brings down the number of diamonds and yeah, but one interface, but you can uh, hold all the items and it auto crafts. Okay, so next we'll go over here for the drawer controller. So basically, we have this whole uh, system of drawers set up with a whole bunch of different items. So if we just take an item, like let's say we take a stack of hay, then what we can do is we can click on this and they're all connected, which we'll get to in a second, and it just goes automatically back to there. But basically the way you make sure they're all connected is either they're touching or you can use uh, trim, which you can craft just like that. And in the spots where no drawers are touching, you can just put trim and the trim makes it so that they're all connected and are all treated as one big system so that you don't have to like put regular drawers there and all that. But if we obviously just take a block that isn't in the system and try and click on it to put it there, it doesn't work. But if we get a hopper, which you, so that you can basically input farms, we can go like this and put a stack of netherite in there and it'll just filter to the closest uh, spot. So now we're getting netherite put in there. But obviously if we put an item in there, it'll go to its correct spot. 
Okay, so we can craft that just like th this with a diamond, uh, stone, comparators, and a drawer. Okay, so next we have the drawer controller S to the L to the A to V. Um, we're not saying that word. Um, and we can craft it just like this with iron, stone, comparators, and a drawer. And basically, it's similar to the drawer controller, except for you can't just like input items like that. You uh, would have to use a hopper, and then if you go like this, now it's being inputted into the system. But you can use this so that uh, it'll so that you can have more hoppers on more sides going into the system. And also, I believe it reduces lag. The CurseForge page said, but yeah. I'm not sure how exactly, but it's supposed to. But you still have to use the, this to input items manually. And also, it's a bit cheaper, so you might want to use it that way if you want to save on resources. Okay, that's about it for this mod. So, uh, thank you for watching, and I guess if you want to, you could subscribe and like the video if you like it, maybe? Oh, no. Yeah, goodbye.